I know what it's like to be an underdog. I know what it's like to be laughed at. I know what it's like to have a dream and have no one believe in you. It means nothing. It's all in your head. You see, these people, the ones who laughed at you or told you that you can't, they aren't you. They don't have to wake up every day and feel how you feel. They don't have to hate the reflection they see in the mirror looking back at them. They don't have to go to bed at night feeling empty because there's something they desperately want. That's you and that's on you. So do something about it. You weren't born to live a second rate existence. You weren't born to let your dreams, your hopes and your aspirations pass you by. You were born to fly. You have to go into 2023 with the mindset that you're going to win. That no one and nothing, not even your fears, can stop you from becoming the person you desire to become. Y'all want to work on your goals and your dreams, but you've been working all year round. So now, even though your internal dialogue is screaming for you to grind for something more, you just want to rest. It's time to step into the shoes you were meant to wear. It comes to us as the people. We may not all think the same, but we all have the ability to come together in love. No more will we submit. No more will we say we're done. You're not done yet. Your life is still here. You won't accomplish your goals by living in that glass cage you built around you that limits you from realizing your potential. So take the hammer, smash the glass, jump off the cliff and build your wings on the way down. You'll learn to fly before you fall. The time is now and you must follow through. I must take action. I must come up with a plan. I must execute that plan. I must get everything that I have and I cannot, will not stop until I achieve my goal. Let's give you a more powerful perspective. Look, everything that human beings have created has been created twice. First inside their mind and second in reality. So as you take a moment to see the results of your hard work and effort to the point where they feel like it's already happened, let's take this to the next level by seeing the person you've actually become. You see, you're going to meet the person that you're going to be, but what if you could meet that person right here, right now? You don't manifest your dreams by just thinking about them. You manifest your dream by stretching yourself. You manifest your dreams by not allowing fear, uncertainty, or discomfort to stop you. The resilient mindset takes ownership for its mistakes. It learns, it grows, it revises, it executes, but it never, ever breaks. Don't you get it? You are an unbreakable force. You are an unbreakable spirit. But you just gotta follow through. You just gotta finish. This new year gives you an opportunity to do something that you've never done before in your natural life. I need you to believe once again, every year, every opportunity that we have been given, it would either make us or it would break us. You are not allowed to be broken. You are not allowed to give in. You are not allowed to say that it's over. This year, here we go. It's your time and it's everyone else's time to watch you shine. This year, everything changes. What in the world are you waiting for? The time is now to start applying what you know. New year, new you.
what are you going to do? You're about to be given a second chance at greatness. A fresh start. So what are you going to build in 2023? What are you going to create? What were you placed here to do? This new year gives you an opportunity to do something that you've never done before in your natural life. It's all up to you. But are you ready to compound like never before for 365 days to put the work in? So what are you going to do? Every year we go through the same cycle. You make a resolution and then you break it before January even ends. I'm going to execute, execute, execute. Two weeks later, everything hits the fan. So no more resolutions. We back that action. Get to work. You have to go into 2023 with the mindset that you're going to win. That no one and nothing can stop you. It's time to step into the shoes you were meant to wear. So tomorrow. What will be your greatest achievement in 2023? Will it be what you have or will it be who you have become? Am I going to repeat my history or will I blaze a new trail? Whatever you say you're going to do, follow through. Guys, you got to start walking and stop talking. To become the best version of you, you got to follow through. We need to change that internal dialogue. Tell yourself, this is my year. It's time to wake up. What are you waiting for? It's your time. Embrace it. Everything you do has to change. See, the you from 365 days from now will love you for taking action. The you from 365 days from now will love you for following through. The you from 365 days from now will reap the benefits of all of your hard work, for all of your action taking, for all of your execution. No excuses. Your mindset is the time is now and you must follow through. I must take action. I must come up with a plan. I must execute that plan. I must give everything that I have and I cannot, will not stop. Be consistent. You can't give 110% on Monday and Tuesday and then give 80% the rest of the week. Listen, growth and success doesn't work that way. You can only get out what you put in. So what are you going to build in 2023? What are you going to create? Your future self already exists and you in 365 days. The challenge is how committed are you to becoming this person? How committed are you? You see, we procrastinate. We procrastinate because we always think we can just do it tomorrow. Tomorrow will always be there. We could just do it next week. We could just do it next month. Hell, we could do it next year. But guess what? Next year is here. The day you keep talking about as to when you will start is here. You see, tomorrow is not guaranteed. So what are you going to do? If you want elevation, if you want next level, if you want to see this thing differently this year, everything you do has to change. First, we conquer the day. And then we execute the week and that week turns into a month and that month turns into a quarter and that quarter turns into a year. And then all of a sudden you look up and you are a disciplined, desperate, dangerous fulfiller of destiny. 
You're going to grind until you are exhausted, until you feel like you have nothing more, and then grind harder to achieve more this year because you deserve it. I would rather you confront, fight, and fail than for you just to settle for the comfort of remaining the same. Change is tough. But change is possible for some of you. The world's not going to become easier all of a sudden. No, as you mature, you're going to have more responsibilities. More things that people expect out of you. But the truth is, you can do hard things. The truth is, as long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. Ask yourself, what's my dream? What's my dream? You think you're just here to work on a job? Pay the bills, keep a roof over your head, a car note, and then die? Come on, give me a break. Raise the bar on yourself. Challenge yourself. Decide you're not going to be the same person. I want you to have the mindset that you're going to live an expanded vision of yourself. And you're going to go all in. I don't know your name, but I know you have a dream. You may be listening to me in your closet, your bedroom, the gym, the car, the bus, the train, the plane. I don't know where you're going, but I know you are going somewhere. You've got a destination. Keep a no excuse mentality. Then the sky is not your limit. The sky is your starting point. I never get turned off every single day. I want my destiny. I want my dream. You got to have this vision of yourself beyond your circumstances. You got to see yourself every day. I can do this. I can make this happen. I'm blessed and highly favored. Good things are supposed to happen to me. You got to see yourself every day and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said. You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it. I feel like on this side of COVID, like I've tried to even hit a different gear. Because one thing that I've realized over the last several years in my life, things that I take for granted can be taken from me. And so now any moment that I get a chance just to kind of lecture or to communicate or to challenge somebody to maybe do what I long for people to do, for me to do, not even you, but for me to even do. And that's to live a life where I wake up and I look in the mirror and I am determined to confront myself. I'm determined to have conflict resolution inside of myself when I'm open and I'm honest with my behaviors and how I'm operating and what I'm doing with my time and my energy and my focus. See, let me share something with you. The easiest thing I've ever done was to earn a million dollars. The most difficult thing I've ever done was to believe it could happen to me. We all want to do something. We all want to be somebody. We all want to go somewhere. If these things are going to happen, we've got to stop habitually gravitating to excuse. You've got a destiny to fulfill. You've got a purpose to walk into. You've got a test to pass. You've got dots to connect, rooms to walk in, stages to stand on, and tables to sit down at. But you got to put a new mind in you. You got to get out of your mind. You got to begin to restructure your thinking. I'm ready to do this for my family. I'm ready to do this for my mother. I'm ready to win for my father. I'm ready to make history and ready to do something that nobody ever thought I could do. And we mistake the fact that we're supposed to be comfortable 24-7. Well, let me tell you something. Comfortable is equivalent to complacent. It's not always about the accomplishment. It's about the effort. 
I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I want to take the calculated risk. To dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence. The thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, This I have done. When you have fallen, when you have made a mistake, the worst thing you can do is criticize yourself. At the end of the day, life can be very painful. We can experience loss and worry and the insomnia of reoccurring heartbreak and hardships. It is inevitable. It is self-compassion that gives us the power to face our failures, to face our fears, to face our insecurities, to face what we don't like about ourselves and come out on top. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world, and so do you. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. Evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. I'm telling you from personal experience, I know what my life was like when I put in 55. I know what it was like when I didn't try. I know what my life was like when I didn't care. I know what my life was like when I didn't have any dreams or any goals, like, like I didn't want anything. I know what my life was like. Now I'm putting in 120, baby. You put in 120. Not only does it affect your life. It affects your family's life. It affects your friend's life. It affects your community's life. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to get from where you are. I'm challenging you to stop settling. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to stop accepting the life that was given to you. I'm challenging you to give 120%. Are you hearing me? Trying is not good enough. Trying is not going to get you there. We need potential. We need application. We need dedication. We need motivation. We need discipline. We need to understand that work must be applied. And even when you don't want to do it, find a way to do it anyway. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. If you are going to win the fight for your future, then you are going to have to master self-compassion. Face the conflict. Embrace rather than avoid challenges. And you don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. When you find yourself criticizing yourself, negatively comparing yourself to others, try to find inspiration in their successes and strengths instead of feeling threatened. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. Everybody gets knocked down. No matter how tough you think you are, you're going to fall. And when you fall, sometimes you fall real hard. But that ground is a hard surface. And I'm going to tell you something. It ain't going to move because you're laying on it. So you need to rise up and you need to rise above it and you need to start moving. Sometimes you have to back up and go within and pray and meditate and recharge your batteries. Go away, clear your head, and then come back and look at it from a different vantage point. Don't operate while you are under the spell or the effect of what's going on. Stop half doing stuff. Stop putting forth 50 percent effort, 60 percent. Look, stop. Do it right or just don't do it at all. Are you hearing me? Do it right. It's a lot of people walking around today, they have unchecked rage, unchecked aggression, unchecked anxiety, fear, insecurity. You're going to have to care enough about yourself to face it and find a resolve. 
You got to find out what's the next things you need to be doing. How are you going to push it to that level and go beyond it? How are you going to maximize your time? How much energy are you going to put into this craft? Everything you have, everything you are, everything you're doing, like it's, it's 78. And what I need you to do is I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, come on, quit, stop playing. I deserve to see what my life would look like if I gave 120%. Stay dedicated. You got to keep on pushing forward. You got to keep on fighting the good fight. You got to put aside the excuses because excuses won't lift you up. Excuses won't give you the power that you truly need. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. So many people are so scared of failing that they think, well, I'm not going to. I've written a book, but I'll never show it to anyone. I've got an idea, but what if it doesn't work? And when they begin to see, oh, it all tracks back to a thought which I'm free to change. It's very liberating. It's very empowering. Really, the only thing wrong with you is you don't think you're good enough. But it's very simple to think a different thought because we own our thoughts. We have to remember something. The mind has no choice but to act on our thoughts. We have an incredible choice to think better thoughts. The strongest force in all of us is we must act in a way that matches how we define ourselves. So your mind's job is to make your thoughts real. The job of your mind is to listen to your thoughts and to start to make them real. People say, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking of. How did I end up in this mess? Well, but you were thinking. You were thinking, I'm not going to succeed. Everything's not going to work out. If, if I start that business, it will fail. If I write the essay, it will get a bad mark. So I'm just going to procrastinate here and do nothing. And then I can't fail. And when you take people back to that, you know, procrastination and self-sabotage is nothing more than a reaction to a thought that I'm not enough. My mind believes that everything I tell it must be true, whether it's good or bad, helpful or very hurtful. So we've got to get into the excellent habit of saying, I can do this. I've got this. This has got my name all over it. No one can do this better. I mean, if they could, I can still do it my way. Somebody like Eminem, who's a great reference for lost kids because nobody believed in him and nobody believed he could be a rapper, but here he is and he put his anger into rapping and then they go, oh yeah. But that's the thing. You get to edit your story, upgrade your story, rewrite your story, change your story. Your thoughts are yours to change. You're not your thoughts. Change them. So your life can change like that if you just get into the excellent habit and keep going of dialoguing better with you. change like that. Can you change in 21 days? You can change in 21 seconds if you know how. In fact, you can change twice every day. First in the way you think and the second in the way you act. You know, your life can change immediately when you change your dialogue. And there are many people who told you that, you know, I just stopped saying that. So we all get a choice. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I forgot. I got that wrong, but then even when you get something wrong, what, what did you learn? You know, a person who never made a mistake, never made anything, your mistakes teach you. So even when you make a mistake, well, I learned something. I learned I'll never do that again. You know, occasionally when I'm traveling, I'll go, okay, 
We've forgotten our chargers. Let's always keep them in our travel bag. Let's always keep them there. When you make a mistake, it usually enhances you, enhances your education if you learn from it. And that's one of the rules of the mind. Whatever you focus on, you get more of. And you can't be in two lanes. So pick a better lane, go into that better lane. Keep telling yourself better things, think better thoughts. And whatever is the missing bit, the emptiness, the needs you didn't get met, take some time to think about what they are and think about what you wanted here and then tell yourself those words, I can do it. I've got this, I'm good at this because amazingly, there is nothing that will raise your self-esteem like praise, but your own praise is better. So if you said to me, oh, you can speak on stage, you can do that. I go, yeah, but you, you're just saying that. But if I say it, my mind believes that everything I tell it must be true, whether it's good or bad, helpful or very hurtful. Yeah.